The Lyric Theater and Cultural Arts Center and Barry and Company presents Brown Girl Bluegrass. It's a theatrical look into identity, race, and culture through the eyes of a Kentucky girl. Development Coordinator Ashley Smith and PNC Client Community Relations Director Yahada West are here with more. Hi. Welcome, ladies. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Good to see you. both of you. Okay, so uh, tell us about this program. So we were honored to bring Brown Girl Bluegrass. Say that five times. Yeah, that. Exactly. Brown Girl Bluegrass. Excuse me. Uh, last October, and we sold out the two night show, the debut, um, and Lucretia Berry's coming back. Actually, she's arriving today, and we're very excited to present an this encore? opportunity, an yeah. encore for those who might have missed in the fall, and also celebrate as a part of Black History Month. Yeah. So is this taken from the perspective of an African American female who happens to also be a Kentuckian? That is correct. Okay, that all right, correct. and I guess her views on the way in which life exists for her That's right. here in Kentucky. Exactly. Yahada, why did PNC want to partner with this particular project? Now, we like to support organizations that bring arts, culture, education to our community, an opportunity that nobody else could get. And so PNC is proud to support the Lyric. We're really excited about it. It's a brand new partnership. Mm -hmm. So we're really thrilled to be a part of their community and ours and just make everybody, you know, have great opportunities to get out there. And this, you know, Brown Girl Bluegrass, we're just thrilled to even be a small part of it and to go and see it and help them achieve their goals at the Lyric. There are producers on Broadway that would kill for an encore performance. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is quite the statement that, as you said, you had sold out shows and that there is a demand for it to come back. That is correct. That is correct. So, you know, it's bridging where she lives in Harlem yeah. um, now. She's from Lexington and just wanting to show her there is love for you in your hometown and there's a very poignant conversation that can be had with these universal themes of identity and purpose and finding your place and, and expressing yourself through the arts. Are you finding um, that you're able to reach, especially say our 18 to 25 year old um, Kentuckians, Lexingtonians, who are hungry for things that are diverse and, and will start a conversation about things that we maybe not have at home? I believe so, absolutely. You know, it was awesome to see a great intergenerational um, audience and the um, the majority of the attendees were under 30. Good. So the millennials are coming out and wanting to see people who look like them who are also their age right. expressing and living out their, their And talking about life. a tough subject. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Well, again, uh, the deal is, so if you want tickets, that's the best way to go about it? You can call us at 859-280-2201. All right. Okay. And it is Very pay good. what you can, so anybody can come. Oh, That's really? Right. Yeah. That's right. I like that. It's Brown Girl Bluegrass returns February 27th, 630. 859, as we said, 280-2218, or log on to lexingtonlyric.tix.com for your tickets. Ladies, thanks awesome. so very much Thank for stopping so by. Thank you so much. Break a leg with ah, that. Let's take our break. Okay, more LEX 18 News at 1230 coming up in just a moment.